We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Migos, Joe Button, and DJ Academic situation. <laughs> this whole situation is a hot damn mess, okay? So this morning, I wake up, I see the videos gone viral. So basically, Complex Magazine has this show called Everyday Struggle with DJ Academics and Joe Button. I don't really watch it like that. I've caught it a few times. The one time I watched it was when it went viral with the whole Yachty and Joe Button situation. I did a video on there. So I haven't really caught as many episodes, and I also recently watched the whole DJ Academics uh, versus the Vic Mensa situation. I know a lot of people want me to talk about that, and a lot of people are using that like as an excuse to like slander DJ Academics or go in on him. And I thought DJ Academics held his own. You know what I'm saying? I thought he held his own, and I understand what Vic was trying to say, but it's almost like you know you're trying to be a tough guy to a guy who doesn't even carry himself like that. Like I'm glad that DJ Academics kind of stood his ground and held his own. So that whole thing was interesting. And I know people ask me about him all the time. Or they'll be like, oh, you're the girl version of DJ Academics. And it's like, uh, no, idiot. I've been on YouTube for even before he was. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've ran across some of his videos. I don't watch him like that. Why? Because I've created my own content. And when you're creating content and you're spending hours researching and editing, I don't have a team behind me like that. So I'm not watching what everybody else is doing on YouTube. But if y'all want to compare me to him, it is what it is. But I have no issues with the man. I don't know him. I've never spoken to him. So I want to get that cleared up. Because for some reason, people act like me and him are in competition with each other. I don't know him. And he probably doesn't even know me. You know what I'm saying? But congratulations to him for, you know, coming up and doing his thing and getting a million subscribers. You know, he's been grinding and I can't do nothing but give him props for that. So I want to talk about this whole situation that happened on the red carpet with Migos, okay? This whole situation is a hot damn mess. Now, once again, Joe Budden has showed his ass. Now, I don't even want to put the video in this video because it seems like Complex News is always flagging my shit. It seems like some people can use their content is DJ Academics and Complex News. So if you guys have not seen the video, I'll put a link down below. Y'all can just go click and watch the video. I'm sure you guys have all seen it by now because it's viral. So I'm not going to put the video in this video because I don't feel like re-editing the shit and having Complex pull it down. But anyhow, um, DJ Academics is asking Migos a question. And for some reason, it's like he can't hear them. And he's like, huh? What did you say? What did, huh? Huh? What did you say? So I thought that that was very unprofessional. And so you could tell that Takeoff was getting irritated. Now I'll say this, I did not like how DJ Academics started that question. Like it seemed like the question started off kind of hostile. When he, you know, when you're telling somebody, how do you feel about not being on a major popular song like Bad and Bougie? And I kind of felt like, you know, why would you start the interview on that kind of negative tone? So I wasn't really feeling that question. Then he kind of went on into them going to jail. It was just like really awkward. And then all of a sudden in between that, Joe Budden just gets, you know, really irritated. He's like, you know what? Wrap this up. You know, just really kind of disrespectful. And Quavo's looking like, okay, well then shit, wrap it up. You know, do you. And then so DJ Academics is trying to wrap it up. And then all of a sudden, Joe Button just stands up, drops his microphone, and just, you know, storms off. So a lot of people were just like really like, you know, what is going on with this dude? He's such a hater. He has a lot of issues. So it's causing all types of debate online. So I want to say this, okay? Joe Budden comes from the, what you call the old school, okay? Joe Budden is a straight up lyricist. I would never take that from Joe Budden. And he's basically, you know, put himself in a position to do a lot of critiquing of these new artists. And he's tired of the whole mumble rap phenomenon. He's upset because he feels like a lot of these new guys are real sassy and real effeminate with the way they dress and carry themselves. So a lot of things about this new generation just turns off Joe Button. You guys all saw him flipping out on Little Yachty. Like he was very upset at Little Yachty's happiness, okay? So that's who Joe Button is, okay? He's very passionate about hip hop. So to me, initially when I watched the video, I thought it was just extremely unprofessional. I didn't understand why DJ Academics was saying this was his favorite group, but I'm like, damn, do you not understand his speech? Like, why did you keep saying, huh? What you say, huh? What you say? But then I was told by some fans of mine on my Instagram page that he went on to, I guess, his Snapchat or whatever, and he explained that the reason why he couldn't hear him is because it was loud and he didn't have an earpiece. So I wanted to address that first and foremost. And I initially thought this was like, you know, him and Joe Budden's thing. But I guess Complex News is the one who's behind this entire everyday struggle. They're the ones who are funding the podcast or whatever. So I feel like there should be a level of professionalism. 
And if Complex News is behind this, they should have provided them with the right equipment, okay? You know it's going to be an interview setting. There's going to be, you know, hundreds of people, you know, doing interviews for their blogs and their websites and everything else. So Complex News should have been professional and they should have provided DJ Academics with the earpiece so he could hear because... Just that interaction with him and Takeoff looked very unprofessional with him not being able to hear him. So I would say that, you know, for future, he should always have an earpiece. You should always have all your equipment, extra microphones, batteries, earpieces, things like that. You know, you guys know I work with this type of equipment. So I just find that amazing that Complex News would not provide DJ academics with proper equipment. So that was the reason why he couldn't hear. So me personally, like I said, I didn't like the question. I felt like it kind of set off a bad tone. But what I was told by Ether Drive, she told me that basically Complex News is running the show and they're basically telling DJ Academics what questions to ask. And she feels like they're using DJ Academics and they're making him the butt of the joke. And to that I say, DJ Academics has literally built his brand from the ground up. He built himself on YouTube. His following was way stronger than even Complex News. So he really doesn't need Complex News. And if he feels like he's being used and he's being made the butt of a joke, then he can always just go back to just, you know, continue to build his own brand on YouTube. You know, so I think that Complex News probably needs him and his fan base, I should say, not necessarily him, but his fan base more than DJ Academics needs Complex News. I don't think Complex News has like a hardcore fan base like how DJ Academics does, you know? So if they're using him and they're trying to make him the butt of the joke, I don't think that that's cool at all. And I hope DJ Academics, you know, sees through the bullshit. And if he feels like it's making his brand look bad, he always has the option to just go back to working for himself like he had been doing, okay? So now on to Joe Budden, okay? Joe Budden is a mess. You know, it's like, Joe, you know, we're, we're from like the same age group. You know, Joe, we're from like the same era. And I, and I understand the whole lyricism thing. Like I've told y'all before, even in my review, I don't understand the lyrics to Bad and Bougie. The only part I know is Bad and Bougie. I don't know what they're saying. I just dance and, you know, shake my ass and bob my head. I don't know what they're saying, you know, and I don't know how these mumble rappers became so popular, but they are, you know, and Joe needs to realize that times have changed, you know, it's just not about lyricism because if it was Big Sean should be a lot more popular than Migos. And little Yachty for that matter. Y'all inspire me to be the best. Look, this brown skin is a weapon, so they aiming at your head top. Your braids and dreadlocks, Martin dreams get X'd out. But somehow we remain supreme, like we in that red box. Open minded, but I put your ass right in that head like this, that Bruce Leroy flow in Detroit blue. T Grizzly up next, it feel like the Detroit Zoo. Understand my stars as a line, I'm forever on course. I'm all charged up and God is my source. So it's just, I don't know what it is with this generation. Lyricism is not in the forefront for them, and that's okay. You know, and I just feel like every time Joe shows out and he clowns like that, it just makes him look like a bitter old man, okay? It just makes him look angry. And I also feel like that was just very, very unprofessional because at the end of the day, even if you don't like somebody, you have to remain professional at all times. Even if he felt like DJ Academics was talking too long, he was acting like a fanboy, you know, you're, you're just sitting here asking all these irrelevant questions or whatever, you know, Joe Budden was thinking in his head. There's ways to wrap up interviews in a professional manner without saying, yo, wrap it up, wrap it up. Like, you don't do that. You can signal, you can say little things, you can, you know, look at each other. I think him and DJ Academics really need to get in sync with each other, like Charlemagne and Envy and Angela Yee are on The Breakfast Club. I think once they get in sync with each other, they won't have issues like knowing when to cut off interviews and stuff like that. But with that being said, I think him taking that microphone and dropping it, that wasn't cool. You know, it just made him look very, very unprofessional, made him look very, very bitter. And, you know, it, it just basically caused things to escalate because once he did that, then Migos jumped up, you know, like the damn Powerpuff Girls. Like they was ready to fight him. They was pulling up them sleeves and shit. Like, you know, what's your problem? And so he caused like this whole, you know, dissension and he didn't need to do that. And then the girl, I don't know her name, you know, so no disrespect to her. I just don't watch the show like that. So I don't know her name. But, you know, when she started screaming, where's security? Where's security? Like that part had me tripped out. Like I was laughing, like what the hell? Like she shouldn't have to yell, where's security? Like complex, y'all need to get y'all shit together. 
Y'all's not providing these people with proper equipment. And then as soon as something popped off, security should have been there. She shouldn't have to yell where's security. Because had something popped off and that girl would have been hit or, you know, DJ Academics would have been hurt, that would have looked bad on Complex. Joe can't be hurt because Joe is like the Terminator. <laughs> we done seen Joe get clocked from behind and he just kept ticking. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Joe can be hurt too, but I'm just saying, like, I felt like complex news is slipping up. As soon as the situation started escalating, security should have been right there. There was no reason for that female to be yelling, where's security? You know, she obviously was kind of scared and frightened, and I don't blame her, you know what I'm saying? Rightfully so. But it was funny because it's just like, what the hell is going on at Complex News that they don't have their shit together? You know, it just doesn't make any damn sense. Anyways, after everything went viral, Joe took to Twitter, and I want to go ahead and show you guys what Joe had to say. And what was so crazy is that we all know Joe is dating Sin Santana and Sin Santana and Yes Jules got into it because Yes Jules tried to act brand new like she didn't know who Joe Button was and they had to pull them damn receipts on her ass okay so I want you guys to go ahead and check out these tweets this shit had me cracking up check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw the tweets and the back and forth and everything else. On top of that, it's also come out that basically Complex News heavily edited this footage to make Joe Budden look bad. Um, DJ Academics took to social media and he basically was saying that that's not what happened. He's saying that Joe Budden tried to dat Migos and Migos basically looked at his ass up and down because as you guys know, Joe Budden goes in on all these mumble rappers. He's always talking shit about Migos. He basically says that Quavo's the leader of the group. He doesn't even know why the other two are there. He's the Beyonce and Offset and Takeoff for basically the Kelly and poor Michelle <laughs> of the Migos. So I think the Migos probably heard Joe Button talking shit about them on social media. And the Migos are not like just homies and friends. They're family. They're brothers and cousins. So, you know, if you talk about one of them, you're talking about all three of them. This is a family unit. So that's probably why they did not want to dap him back. Because it's like, okay, you may like me and I'm Quavo, but you're not going to disrespect my family. You know, but I also feel like the Migos need to also take it down a notch. Let's not forget, everybody has their time to shine. Everybody has their heyday, including Joe Button. You know, he too was hot at one point in time. He had a hot song on the radio. And right now, it's Migos' time to shine. But realize what goes up must come down. You know, and everybody falls from grace and falls from, you know, um, the top 100s after a while. And I just think that, you know, they need to humble themselves a 
bit more. I don't think that they necessarily need to kiss anybody's ass who's disrespecting them or their group. I'm not saying that. But I also think that they're starting to kind of be a little bit full of themselves. You know, this is was, this was the second incident that happened at the BET Awards with Migos. We all know they had the issue with Chris Brown and then the whole thing with Joe Budden. But I'm really not feeling how Complex is doing this, you know. I feel like since this show has been on... It's always viral for some fuckery. And if they're sitting there editing things and not showing the full, um, you know, the full picture, then that's not fair to either side. It's not fair to Joe Budden. It's not fair to DJ Academics. And it's definitely not fair to the artists. So I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, this is what happens when you don't have full creative control of your content. And basically, Complex News, I feel like this is the proof from what I was saying earlier that they're using these people to basically bring in their fan bases into to complex news um, because I guess Jinx and the people that they had working for them initially weren't bringing enough people to watch their content because why would they feel the need to bring in DJ Academics and Joe Budden and then always twist stuff around to either make them look bad or make them just look crazy. And, you know, even DJ Academics is saying this is not what happened. Why is this so heavily edited? So I think, you know, at this point in time, they both may need to think about do they want to continue working for Complex and letting Complex basically mess with their brand? You know, so this whole situation was crazy. Um, I'm glad that more information came out on the situation. So the whole situation to me was just a hot damn mess, honey. So anyways, y'all. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning DJ Academic, Joe Button, and Migos, and this whole drama that ensued after the BET Awards. All right, deuces. It's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.